had this friend, Pliny from Seattle, who's written two entire rock musicals, which even won the Seattle Fringe Fest Best of Fest Award. Now, he and his wife Renee sing a different tune on a farm at Tanitas Creek. Recently, they were guests on Laugh Locally and extended a kind offer. Come on down to the ranch anytime. I decided to take them up on this offer and visit them at the ranch. Well, look at the cat dragged in. Oh! Will you come on cat in food. now? Tell me about your life on the ranch now. What have you been up to? Well, I've taken a vow of singing. Disco, 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 baby! <laughs> We narrowly escaped suburbia. That's how we raise them. Humans are good. We all agree. Homo sapiens is a superior species. So you want to show me some stuff around the ranch here? What, what, uh, what well, do you got have? Some horses. So we got these horses here and they, they crap a whole wheelbarrow. They crap a wheelbarrow? Every time they crap, it's a whole wheelbarrow of crap. Yeah. And we put the, the crap on these here vegetables and look at that. Them's horse crap vegetables right there. That's how wow. you get them. That's how you get them that big. That's hey guys. And then we take the vegetables and we give them back to the horses. You know, the crap goes into the vegetables, the vegetables go into the animals, and the animals make the crap. It's a circle of life. That's good, huh, Joe? Mm -hmm. I never realized that crap is part of the great circle of life. Yeah, oh, absolutely. We're spreading around a lot of shit these days. Yep. This is all this baby's eating, is this carrots and cabbage? Spinach. How do you, how do you feed Penelope? We mainly use these. <laughs> How do you feed Penelope? Oh, we just look, let her look, forage. There she is in the spinach. Hey, baby. Nice spinach. Wait, that's not spinach. Now, do you ever uh, buy store-bought food that you haven't grown on the farm here? Uh, yeah, we buy lard. <laughs> well, we don't go to town much anymore. We don't. We don't go to town much. We have to drive if we go to town. And the tractor's a little bit bumpy. What happened to that old truck you used to have? I broke down, now we just have the tractor. We never go to town anyway, so. So do y'all miss, uh, you know, the city life at all? Nah, I can't remember it. My, my brain cells, uh, they're gone with the baby, you know, no sleep. <laughs> So you're basically trapped out here then? Yep. More and less. This here's our eggplant. We found a way to grow a fried egg right on a bush. Don't let her eat the whites. If you had to be had a choice between being trapped here or trapped in the city, what would you choose? Nice place to be trapped. And if you're having any doubts, that's just because you are so smart. So explore your inner couch. And waste some time creating art. <laughs> well, I could stay here all day, you know, and, and con <laughs> converse with you, but I think I gotta get back uh, to planet Earth. Of course, I was just kidding about the planet Earth thing. After all, is it really so alien to turn horse manure into dinner? And if it is, who is the alien really? Besides the six-legged horse, that is.